Well, my friend, <clears throat> welcome to today's edition of Climbing with John, which will eventually become a podcast. I am hell bent on that now. I'm thinking of calling it Bike Culture. Because it's going to expand. It won't just be me sweating up climbs. It'll probably be just be voice, actually. I'm going to do a vlog. I'll do a pod. Anyway, <clears throat> here I am, cranking my way up. It's called Mountain Highway. It's the extension off the main road, off the highway. And it becomes Gravel Road. And brings me up through the iconic North Shore mountain biking. So it's just freaking cool for me to be here. You know, <clears throat> we can talk about everything culture for a sec. So sort of like, when I first came to Vancouver, I came here looking like a heroin addict from India, meeting my parents for the first time. <laughs> and thankfully I got through the border, although I wasn't a heroin addict. I probably looked like one. I'd lost 20 pounds and abscess on my neck. And I look back at old photos, it's really, oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was knackered. Hang on, what's that trail? That one is Dyer Maker. Okay. Just checking them out. I think I have my roots sussed. But I gotta get up first, 7K climb. Anyway, and then right away. What happened when I first came here? Well, Vic came out, picked me up. I'm trying to remember. Was David there too? Shit, I can't remember. But anyway, but we took off on a climbing trip. Went to Squamish. <clears throat> That's where we started. Went all over. Eventually got to the Bugaboos. If David wasn't with us the whole way, he was with us in the bugs. That's for sure, I got photo evidence. <clears throat> Maybe I can say things like podcasts too. I'll put a picture in the show notes. <laughs> but you know, um, and then what else? Let's see, I don't even know what order things are in. Then I remember, you know, food is a constant, obviously. But <clears throat> got super interested in coffee, right? I was buying my fancy machine, getting into it. If I can't have high quality coffee in Golden, I'm gonna bloody well make it. So I did, still do, even roasted for a while. Anyway, started discovering Vancouver through coffee. You know, like one of the places that I went to, sort of like the Continental, of course, an old standard and still an old favorite. You know, in terms of places that do medium to dark roast, they do it freaking well. They do it better in Italy. I'll tell you that right now. I wasn't actually overly blown away by the coffee in Italy. And I went to gas station places, and I went to high-end places. I hit it all up. Coffee quality stays relatively constant at damn good. <clears throat> it's the constants that's really cool. I went to some sketch cafes and they still <clears throat> made a damn good cup of coffee. But rarely great. There was one place at the end of my trip, it was near the train station in our last Airbnb, and uh, those guys, or that guy behind the machine, I gave him major props. Because not only was the place super friendly, but he actually poured the best shot that I had in Italy. So I was consistently there every morning. There's no doubt about that. <clears throat> and of course there was a lesion. Uh, there's another chain fancy coffee place that was okay. I can't remember the name. Anyway, I can't remember the name, it doesn't matter. And then of course there was Revolver. That one, I brought you to that one. That is a good cup of coffee. It remains a good cup of coffee. They geek out hard. Anyway, that was then. Now there's a whole bunch more coffees. Remember the other place we went to? I forgot the name already. But that was a kick-ass cup of coffee. So 
that the level has climbed. Anyway, I started discovering through coffee. Okay. Um, and then, of course, I was juggling a lot. So I definitely discovered Vancouver through juggling and circus. Did that through um, Circus West. Major props to them. What a great place. Super friendly. Learn a lot. <clears throat> and, uh, well, I'll just call it the Baby Clown Program because I'm forgetting the name, the Primary Clown. But he's an icon. <laughs> Too bad I can't remember his name. But through Aaron and, oh shoot. <laughs> what was James and Jamesy's? The other guy's name. Damn it! Ah, oh well. I'm gonna throw this out to him too and he can see me flail on his name. Maybe I'll remember it later. They'd come to Golden actually, so that's how I knew them. I haven't actually even seen them in Vancouver, but part of Vancouver ex exploration. And then of course there's the Mad Skills Juggling Fest. I came a couple of years. That's something could easily have kept regular. So juggling, unicycling, that's how I was discovering Vancouver. Oh yeah, before that actually it was disc golf, I think. Because uh, when I did the training for my initial job, yeah. First thing was disc golf. That's right. I was out at the JI in Coquitlam and um, at Robert Burnaby Park. I played the heck out of that course. Queen Elizabeth played the heck out of that course. Jericho played it a bit. It was my favorite. You know, met guys, played rounds, kept developing, hit up some duck golf events in the island. That was pretty cool. So I got a good slice of disc golf culture back in the day. And that really springboarded me for tournament play in Alberta. So yeah, another geek thing. That's all I do. And then, let's see, what came after that? Hmm, well, I mean, food one is an obvious one, but so was, you know, uh, family, and a lot of time with family, a lot of experiences here, <clears throat> life created, life lost, you know, so, crazy experiences. Um, but what are the geek thing? Huh. Well, I guess the next one, I'll just go with gravel biking. So, last time I came to see you, took the gravel bike out, and uh, was busy doing the, the classic climbs. Seymour, any other one, name I forget. <clears throat> that was awesome. Now let's see, which one's that one? Upper Royal Can. Hey, how y'all doing? Awesome. What a great day. Hello. Oh, there we go, see? Hello. You got fans, Paul, you got fans. You know, so gravel biking was a solo venture. <clears throat> and it was good to refine my piece. You know, it's interesting just to bring it around full circle, you know, like bikes is the first thing I geeked out on. And then through my life, I certainly went into a number of different directions, but ultimately came back to bikes. And now I'm pretty stoked with my quiver too. I got my Yeti SB 4.5 here. <clears throat> I like it. It's my last season on it. I'm gonna go up on the suspension. I'm looking at the Evil Offering. This one's a 115-140. I like it. Climbs well. Descends pretty well, but has a bit of a rattly feel in the back end. The Evil solves that. It's gonna be a 130, 150, so descending power. But like a lot of the new bikes, they climb really well, which is important for me. So next year, we'll do a preview of the now iconic Evil Offering through Higher Ground Sport and Golden. See, I like that. Plug for a sponsor, so to speak. <laughs> 
Anyway, I was hitting road. I didn't hit any gravel actually, but really enjoyed those climbs. Cyprus, is that the other one? Oh Christ, I got no memory, man. Anyway, now it brings us to today. Oh, well I did do some running. I did some running around Vancouver. Body's not so hot on that these days, so it's gone by the wayside. Book was double black or red. I won't be taking that one today. First time on the North Shore. So this climb, first of all, like, this is so mellow. <laughs> this would be really nice on the gravel bike, actually. For a road climb and mountain biking, often when you're going up fire roads and mine roads and logging roads, you know, they get into some grades where, you know, you're definitely, like it or not, you might end up redlining in your granny gear. <clears throat> but this one is just mellow. Look at me, I'm breathing a bit. Oh, hang on. Seventh secret. That's the one I'm supposed to take. But I want to go up top first. Well, top of this road. Hopefully it doesn't make me late for you. But that's where I'm going down after. That's cool. Now I know where. So it must be near the top. But yeah, beautiful climb. So if you don't know North Shore, BC became famous around the world for mountain biking for a lot of reasons. And a lot of it is because they majorly pushed any limit they could find. The North Shore, you know, I'm just going with my notions and videos that I've seen, so all I can think of is high skinny wood structures, tech wood structures, I don't know. It's going through forest though like cedar, wet, wet forest. So I'm gonna anticipate a bit of mud, a bit of rock, a bit of root, stuff built around stuff. I'm gonna go conservative, because first time here, I'm calling this a reconnaissance ride. <clears throat> and then we'll see where it takes me. Then I'll be back, that's for sure. Saturday with your buddy, Jonathan. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Here's some more bike culture stuff, hilarious. So I'm coming to the iconic North Shore, right? So, <clears throat> they made a lot of videos here. Let's just put it that way. So, it's tech, it's high level, right? <clears throat> so, talking to Jonathan, basically the first thing he tells, talks to me about is when he went over the bars and ruptured his liver <laughs> first thing even though we're having this great conversation about mountain biking then i get to the trailhead here and as i'm heading up meet some guys super friendly around here eh? hey where are you going you know and i say well i'm new here where should i go so first thing he tells me about is you know the trails from the top because i like going to the top that's just me if i can't go to the top there's almost no point <laughs> But anyway, um, oh, what's this? No name, unsanctioned, dirty, forget it. Um, first thing he tells me about is, oh yeah, you should take seven. But you know, it's techie. I once took that down, went over the handlebars, broke my pelvis, had to be rescued out. Titanium shaft in my hip. <laughs> You know, just matter of factly, but you know, there is a buddy he's going off on another ride. <laughs> but the warnings is hilarious. I mean, it's good too. You know, I'm an older rider. I'm 54. I didn't grow up riding. But I ride a lot. I ride with some good riders. I even took a coaching course to coach kids. Like, I know what I'm doing, but I'm not high level. So the beauty of being an old rider is that I don't have anything to prove. <laughs> I don't care. You know, I'm gonna hit it. I don't need top speed. I wanna see some features, but I don't have to hit them. I have no obligation for that. So it's gonna be good. Well, dude, 
You know, it looks like I've topped out actually. I could go up the snow, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. There's the snow behind me, so there there is some snow in Vancouver. So I'm gonna stop it there. I saw the trail I'm gonna hit. So I'm gonna head down and hit seven something, which is cool because I come from a town with a Mount Seven. So I kinda like the connection. And welcome to my latest geek out and way to discover Vancouver. And uh, I'm gonna see you, my friend, and we're going home, we're gonna eat some food, and uh, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna come up with a, we're gonna talk about shit, we're gonna come up with a plan, plans, we're gonna, you know, and we're gonna take it easy, all of it, okay? So, I'll see you soon, man. Yeah, a little bit of North Shore. This isn't even the super gnarly stuff. But me, I go conservative. Anyway, uh, just letting you know that I did make it down. Some iconic freaking North Shore trails. Pretty damn cool. Met a couple of locals, rode with them, super friendly. You know, such a friendly community, what can I tell you? Now I'm on my way to pick up my boy. But I need a sandwich and I need a coffee. Love you, dude. And I'm gonna break you from jail, my friend. Yeah, join the Van Halen in the car. I love rock stations. I never listen to them. It's awesome. <laughs> Ciao.